once we let the, the ban against assault weapons sunset, um, we have seen such a surge in, in violence in this country. It's, it's incredibly sad. Another, another irony is uh, Uvalde is a bookend to Newtown. Mm -hmm. So it was such a horrific shooting and such horrible response by the police and such an outrage. We got some laws passed, right? right? So another irony, what happened right after that? The Supreme Court says mm -hmm. everyone in New York can... Carry so away. it's like back-to-back, slap-slap. You know, it's just, it's, uh, it's really hard to comprehend how things have uh, come sideways in the recent time period. Yeah. You know, I was speaking to... Um, an intern of mine, and, and we were speaking about issues, and we spoke about guns, and I, and I talked about how we need to pass uh, an assault weapons ban. And the young woman, she's a high school student, said, well, isn't that against the American way? And I'm like, well, what do you mean? She goes, well, aren't assault weapons, you know, aren't they part of, of who we are as America? Why would, how would we be able to ban them? And I'm thinking that where does she get that from? Like at, at, at the age that a, a teenager today thinks that assault weapons are as American as apple pie. Mm -hmm. And the, the notion that the, the gun lobby has been able to persuade America and certainly even a, a generation coming up that, that this is normal, that this is actually how life is and these are the weapons that people should all own is, is incredibly disturbing. Mm -hmm.